Hey, yo, what is going on with it? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, and of course, as always, the talk of Nikki Commodities out there. Of course, bros and women. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys are rest intros and outro towards this channel. And as always, definitely follow me on Twitter and uh, Daily Motion, like I normally say most of the time. Speaking of which, this is earlier before I went to work, like an hour before. You know, I came out from work two hours ago. I still got like an hour and a half left before I go to my little trade school stuff. I'm usually there to like about 10 or 10.30, so it's not really that long. So, um, as always, follow me there, just in case if you want to. But what I found on Twitter, speaking of which, I don't know if this is legit or it's fake, but um, this is from the official Crash Bandicoot um, Twitter account here, which is, um, I just don't give a lot of shine to it. They already got the little blue verification thing, so they're already a big entity within their own cells, like almost 45,000 freaking followers that's pretty huge okay so it says borrow these from a friend what do you guys think i'm gonna get a little bit of an overview there that's pretty damn wild it's like a nathan drake uncharted fusion mixed with crash bandicoot let me know in the comments below how do you feel about that all criticism aside i think it's pretty damn lit and it's funny because this is coming from somebody i did, did give two squirts of piss gave zero f's at all about any of the uncharted games for own personal, like, unfortunately, um, bigotry sort of region, reasons, which I'm not going to get into because it involves a lot of BS and politics and just the way the world is, is the real world of reality is just a hunk of garbage, to be completely honest with you, friends. But the world of fantasy sometimes, it's a cool last thing. I'm also, on the side note, I apologize, no face cam tonight. Uh, I really wasn't feeling up to it. I apologize if you hear something in the background playing, which is um. Pretty much marks day five of me trying to, oh my god, I don't even know if I'm doing it right. I'm pressing L and R at the same time and starter select. Still trying to get shiny Shakataka, aka UB Assembly. It's pissing me the hell off, honestly. If any people could give me some advice for professional shiny hunters out there, for the Pokemon fan base out there that does shiny hunting, like all the time, especially if any of you guys are Twitch live streamers, I would very much appreciate that. I'll be forever in your depth if you give me some advice, I don't know. I don't know if the sh second shiny, um, you could get the second Shack Attack that's a shiny software set, because I've been doing it, I'm probably about a good 8,000 plus software set, so I already went over the limit. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to get that little bastard prick anytime soon, because it's starting to get under my skin, honestly. If it goes this past Wednesday or this past Friday, it's going to be longer than it was, a bigger pain in the ass was than it was to get shiny Litten and Ultra Moon. And um, shiny type null was easy as hell. It only took less than six hours. I think it was about six or eight hundred software sets I had to do. So thank God it was under four thousand ninety six. I think that's what the main count is. This is without a shiny charm, by the way. As far as this Crash Bandicoot thing, I'm not sure if it's real or if it's fake. They're actually going to make this a DLC skin. They might as well make that Coco Chicken Tana or Twana DLC skins for them, for their um, own personal characteristics. And their personality itself. So it's something that sticks out really, really good. My own personal opinion. <clears throat> Other than that, I know this is really, really old. It's on September 27th. It's like three months old, but I just barely started hearing about this. I know there was that Sega Mini. There, there was a few reasons why I didn't cover it, because unfortunately I never owned a Sega Saturn or Sega Genesis. But I did play a couple of the games back, way back when I was still living in upstate New York with my cousins and stuff. Because one of my cousins had an N64. The other one had Sega Genesis. Dreamcast, you know, Sega Saturn, Genesis, and the Dreamcast, because they were rich up the butt load, <laughs> and I don't know what their family was doing, but they made an absolute crap load of money. I know one of them worked for the government, which I'm not going to say what it is, because uh, I'm just one of those people I really, really give two squirts of piss about the government, even though probably listening to everything I say, <coughs> say, you know, <coughs> not saying everyone's a complete a hole. But um, some people, I don't know. There might be a few handful of people that are nice people in the government. And most of them, just, they sound like jerk-off a-holes half the time. It's not coming out of jealousy or spite or I envy them for them making way more money than I do. But it is what it is. It's a little side rant there. But I'm only going to read half of this article. I read some of it. I'm not sure who the um, person was that made this. Oh, Jordan King. So shout out to Jordan King. For making this, I know this is way late, but I still want to talk about it anyways. So it says, after decades of absence, and hopefully I don't have to do a 2 partners. I apologize in advance if I do. 
Okay. I'm getting really, really close to the screen right now. You know, you guys can't see it, but I can. The sense of absence, Atari has announced its plans to get back into the console business. Once a dominant force in the gaming industry, Atari left a limelight following the infamous video game crash in 1983. It's been nearly 20 years since the release of Atari Jaguar. And the iconic giant is ready to make a comeback with a brand new machine, which unfortunately when I was a 90s kid, of course, this is way before I was born, I never really got to see anyone have a, um, that is really, really weird. So I don't know where that came from. Toss that to the side. Yeah, this is from Trustless Reviews, by the way. I've never really read any of their articles, but um, it's the first time I'm um, watching it. What is Atari Box? Atari has released a very first image of upcoming consoles. Everyone already knows about that, so I'm going to skip those. It's pretty damn wild to see something come back older than Nintendo, as far as here as in the United States goes. Is, I think it was like way back in 1893 or 1896 when Nintendo Japan was first um came into existence so snes mini review akari game atari game box what games can i play on it speaking of games be atari ceo fred chesnas or chesnas confirmed that the decision to develop a new console was inspired by nintendo's success at nes mini keeping things in mind it's possible that the atari will be res reasonably priced a bit a bit of kit design by Play Classic Games. Atari confirmed recently that this machine will be capable of playing both modern and classic games. The Linux, or Linux, how do you say that word? <coughs> Excuse me. Machine will sport an AMD processor and Radeon, Radeon, however you say that name, Radeon graphics card. So expect it to be capable of supporting titles. And it goes to say related PS4 Pro versus Xbox One X. You already know I'm a Sony fanboy almost for life, so you already know what that is. <laughs> and uh, what? That's it? Huh. I thought there was a lot more to that than I originally planned on. Yeah, I'm reading. I'm reading before previously. I don't know. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions. Oh my god, as far as all this goes, hopefully next year in 2018 it becomes a very, very, very huge success rate because if it goes down to crap or just little symbol, I don't know what it stands for. I'm probably going to have to go on Google and find it myself. But uh, with all that being aside, half of the games I'm probably not going to know, except for two of them, which was Frogo, not Frogo, Frogger and I think Caterpillar Centipede is one of those two. And my god, I, oh man, as a 90s kid, I used to absolutely play the absolute but Jesus out of that thing for hours on end at the arcades. I remember, even though granted I was kind of a loner, I didn't really have that many friends except for my cousins at the time, way back in those days. If you were on my channel for quite some time, I think earlier in the middle of this year, 2017, this is one of the best stories I've probably covered on my channel, to be completely honest with you. I never played an original Atari myself because unfortunately now this is way before my time. <laughs> Anyone that's probably over 35 or not, they probably know it a lot better than me because, you know, I'm still in my late 20s. Plus, next year is the last year I'm going to be in my 20s. So, <laughs> oh, man, I'm kind of dreading hitting the three big 3-0, but wish me luck because I'm still going to be a kid at heart no matter what. From when I'm an old man, senior citizen, another effort, I'm still going to love the crap I did when I was in the 90s and 2000s, kid slash adolescents during that time period of my own life. Oh, and speaking of which, something, oh, one more other thing. I really, really hope the controls look damn good. I don't know if they're going to look like real long-ass old little frequency walkie-talkie remote, clunky little remotes that you control the volume and any of the audio syncing or synchronicity or um, not to mention the uh, the color aesthetics or like the color scheme and how the liquid crystals are going to be really, really nice looking. And this damn thing keeps popping up. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope that goes really, really well in the play. And hopefully a lot of their old school classic games go into modern, like, you know, 1080, 1280, 2100p, um, 60 frames per second, per second um, graphics. Because if not, and they get stuck in the past, they're screwed immediately. And uh, one more other thing, I'm really, really hyped for that Ready Player One. There's a second trailer out for it, so I'm going to have to check that out in my own time. But I've seen it blown up on Twitter and Instagram, everyone. A lot of old school 80s, even early 90s gamers are really really hyping up this film not to mention because steven spielberg 
is the one I created as well. I'm not sure the author was because it was from a book from the, I think, late 70s, early 80s. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. And with that being said, I'm done here. Links in the description box down below if you want to read any of the other articles in your own time. Shout out to Jordan King once again. I know it's a really old article because we're already in December, but this one must have slipped under my radar, radar to be completely honest with you. And I'm going to go eat dinner before I end up going to my trade school computer classes. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, bros, women, and of course, otakus, niki, komodis, and um, fans out there. This I will see you when I see you guys. A good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't just smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until the next time, guys, peace out, ladies and goodbye. I will see you when I see you guys. Um, take it easy. Stay safe. And stay tuned more future content, cart, uh, contact, commentary, and all this other stuff. And anything, video games, anime, and um, my monthly unboxings opening, which I haven't done in a while. It's kind of financially behind on my stuff, so I might not have one for this month. Who knows? In January 2018, I guarantee not probably more than likely we'll have an unboxing. So sit tight, friends. Um, peace out, lates. I'm out. Um, peace out, my late sauerkraut. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Stay safe. Goodbye. And, um, yeah. If any of you guys live out here in the 702, be careful with coyotes because there is a crap ton of them coming around the area. Not where I'm at particularly per se because there's actually two super famous YouTubers that live out here in Vegas, which is, um, actually, no, one of them I remember was Brian 3TR Topic Reviewer. And if any people know this anime chick named Aki Dears, <laughs> oh man, Aki Dears, shout out to her. I know she has no idea who the heck I am, but really, really cool ass Asian chick. She is amazing. Hopefully I get to meet her one day and get an autograph from her because she's absolutely um, kick-ass. See you guys on the flip side. I know she has over 1 million subs too, so <laughs> take it easy. I'm gone, and um, I'm just exaggerating now. See you. Oh, yeah. See you in 2018 in the future. Goodbye, and have a good-ass Christmas.